Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome to episode 37 of my Talons LP. Alrighty, you want to see what I did? Uh, I've been working on foodstuffs. I think I've solved my food production issues for a long time. Uh, uh, oh, oh, hang it. Yes, 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 yeah, yes, yes, my patch, yes, yes, look at this. Look, look at it, look at it, look over here. And here, and over here, and we've got a balcony. Look at this. I'm going to experiment with balconies this episode. Yes. Mm, yes. My punch, yes. And we have iron bars, and it looks neat. And here's uh, here's some stiffs over here, and we have uh, a farm area over here, and we've got plenty of cactus growing on the border of the river. And the jungle here has... Uh, radishes, tons of banana trees, jungle mushrooms, wheat, planted apple trees, pear trees, uh, tree farm, and I think I can actually plant some more right there. There we go. Uh, yellow flowers, blue flowers, and red flowers. So pretty much this strip of farmland right here that goes to the jungle houses, and I made a road on it, uh, I read in the comments that the the gel road is better than this road, but I don't see any kind of information on speed, so I'm just going to assume that all roads are the same, and if all roads are not the same, uh, I would suggest putting their speed values probably in the description, uh, if that is indeed true, but I, I don't think it's true because it would, it would tell me here, I think. Um... So I've got just the white pavement road, because I like the way it looks. And it goes right into the jungle, and they can quickly come down here and gain access to all these little uh, farm plots. Um, that has a lot of eating noises. So, I do have 127 people now. I've got 40 people in food production, and that is just food production. I've got 35 in harvesting, uh, that is... Butchering, tilling, chopping for wood, basically, uh, and gathering and harvesting. And then I've got 40 people who just do hauling and trading, and every now and then I will free these guys up for mining or something else um, when I need some extra workforce. And then managed group is this right here, and these guys, I change, the, I change these jobs on a pretty regular basis. The managed group just kind of handles whatever specific task I need done in the short term. For now, I've got them set on everything, well, basically every other job. And I don't think anybody ever feeds, because I don't want, I don't care about the animals dying. Uh, the animals dying, though, has resulted in, I've got over a thousand bones now, and I made some bone wall just to see what it looked like. Uh, I actually don't like it. It's a little too much, uh, a little too, car like, Temple of Doom. Um... I feel like I'm gonna, uh, like, punch somebody's heart out. Kalima! Kalima! You know, that kind of thing. And then later, like, get shot by British colonial soldiers and fall into an uh, alligator pit and die. Um. <clears throat> okay. So that's what the, the bone wall looked like, and I was like, meh, meh, meh. Alright, so this episode... I think we've got our food situation sh uh, sorted out. We has... What does we has? We have uh, over 200 fish. That'll go up to 300 eventually. And it was actually up there a while ago, and then I let all my people idle the soldiers. So we have a big food variety. Um, the reason for all the food variety is for the happiness bonuses from having a variety of food. Uh, I know it could be more efficient to just focus on one food, but then I won't get the happiness, and I'll get immigrants slower. Uh, so that's why I did that. Um, okay. So, what else? What else do I have to show you? Because I did a big... This is a big time skip. I mean, a lot of time has passed again. Uh, there's this area here I'm working on. And... Oh, let me go add some more wall. Let me... I'm filling this in. There we go. Okay. Uh, 
I'm just making like a little yard area over here. And oh, that's right. What I want to do this episode is I think I might just delete this kitchen. Uh, I don't like this. I hate the way this looks. It's been it's been bothering me. It's all l let me just go down a level here. Okay. Uh, new storage room. Uh, new storage area. I made uh, an additional kitchen and this is, is much neater and nicer looking and this doesn't make me like twitch and go OCD and I have an underground um, building here that I made uh, for more rooms uh, each of these is 10 so that's like 10 20 30 40 50 60 60 extra rooms down here uh, and they are they have decorations and they look, look nice and neat and they have a space open above them and then they have uh, actual wall not dirt above them. So I do believe that these count as proper rooms and not uh, having the uh, underground data values for them. They're actual like buildings according to the game. Uh, I think that's how it works because it's got it's too high and it's got normal uh, normal uh, ceiling above it. So I, I hope that's how that works. Uh, and this was kind of a pain to construct, actually. I thought it would be easier. I thought, you know, oh, let me just dig out a room and then make a roof over it. That'll be super easy. Uh, no, actually it was not. And part of the reason is because when I dug this out, it actually made this section of my base collapse and I had to fix it. It just, it just took a long time to fix it in because I had to slowly fill it in from one side going over. So, the more you know. Um... Also, I have started the long and arduous process of filling in this castle castle roof here. Uh, this is going to take some time. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm one over. Whoops. Escape. Okay. Uh, yes, yes. Here we go. That, yeah, that's what we want right there. And I'll do this side too. Uh, filling in from both ends. And I think I can do it from here as well. That's also safe to do. And then this one over here. I may as well, I guess. Okay. So, I'm slowly filling in the roof here. Okay. So, I I have... I have, um... Now, this might interfere with things, but I have enough food and alternate food sources, like fish and stuff. I think I can go without my production in this room if I uproot it. So, let's try deleting it. What does that do? Oh, look at that. Okay, so it, it... Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So that reverted all those things into item form. Now, it would be nice... It would be really, really nice if these got stored. But I don't know if these things are actually storable or not. Is there a stockpile for... Uh, you, is that what they're counted as? Utilities? Is there a utilities chest? I'm kind of curious. Let's manage the tool chest. Workshops. Oh, is that what the uh, utilities chest is for storing? I have some extra ones down here. Uh, containers. Tool chests. Yeah, are they... Let's manage it. Workshops. Miscellaneous. Empty bottles. Materials. Buckets. Workshops. Do they store workshops? Is that where the hauling people will take them? Well, either way, uh, let's see if they start getting moved. I have plenty of people on hauling. If they were going to be moved, they ought to move. Uh, utilities. For now, uh, let's just try putting them out here. There. Uh, let's see if they'll get moved out there. Yeah, okay, there they go. All right. Now, I don't like all these mills right here either. So, I'm going to just blow up the mills. I know I just made them all, but... Oh, and let me test something. Uh... I'm going to test something with Till. Because I don't know if I tried it or not last time. So, we'll find out. Uh, let me keep blowing up these mills here for you guys. Now, um, 
I used to do like the five day episodes and I haven't done those in a while, mostly just because it's five days has stopped being long enough for me to accomplish things that I feel are meaningful. And I don't want to put out an episode where I don't really do anything. Uh, I would feel kind of bad about that. So I, I try to avoid that. Um, okay, fantastic. Now these food barrels, do they have anything in them? Alright, I'm just going to blow these up too. I'm going to leave the lamps, I guess, or candlesticks. Um, uh, what's in here? Eh, it's not really that important. Uh, okay, so that's that glitch and clear it out, and I'll think about how I want to redo it. Um, so I'm missing mills, and part of me wants to make like an underground mill so it's not... Like, I think I should put the mill near the, the farm. And... Hmm. I don't know. I, I kind of want to store... Well, at least, at least now the storage is going to be here. All the raw food should be put in here, and that's right next to where it's going to be used. And then the output is right here. So that actually should be a lot more efficient. And I might even expand this out here. In fact, I think I will. Um, now that's still deeper into the dungeon over there, so... Um, do I want to poke a hole in this wall or not? Do I, do I, do I, do I want to... I guess I will. And where does this go? I don't want to link that up with this room, so... Tell you what. Now let's take the stone wall and get the stone wall and come out here and go like this. And I like how there's a little um, there we go. There'll be a little room in there. Uh, I may even connect these two, but I kind of like this being closed off where it can only be accessed by the this ladder right here, pretty much. Because it's part of the dormitories, not anything else. And as soon as this wall gets finished, it'll be completely sealed off and safe. Um, okay. So, now I've got more room here. Now, the butchering, I had it in the kitchen, right? And I don't think that was a good idea. I think... Well, first off... Uh... I think I could safely get rid of these scaffoldings here, except for this one at the very edge, and that'll be enough to let them get up there and do whatever work that comes later. So, uh, hmm. Okay, let's let's see. Uh, do do do. Zone. So, okay, here's my idea. A kitchen right here. And I'm tempted to fill this area in and just block it up and make it like solid stone right there. Uh, and have this. So yeah, I might. I think I, I think I will do that. So that's just filled in. And uh, I'll come back in and I, I guess do the rest of it later. And just because I know the people like to throw a fit if they can't get out, let me make a bunch of scaffoldings here. There we go. So they should have a safe way out on both sides. Okay, so now that we have the kitchen there, here is the idea. Since the butchering is all going to be done right here, uh, the butchering tables ought to be... Um, oh, wait. Right here. Dang it, scaffolding. Get out of here. Okay, yeah, right here. And then come down again. Yeah, okay, that's matched up. Good. Okay. And with that, we've got a little butchering station right outside the farm, and I think that'll be better. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
eight. Uh, I guess 16 in total there. Um, that should be enough to process pretty much my entire farm in only a few trips. Um, so there we go. Uh, we have a new butchering station here, and I will put some candles down uh, in the corners. That's why I left them open like that. Um, okay. I think that'll be nice. And that way the butchering is all done right there, and they can take the uh, take the raw materials and just go down this ladder, which is right next door, and come down the ladder and boom, they're right there to the barrels they need to get to. Uh, like bone storage is in these barrels, and the meat storage is in here, and then later on they can take the meat out of the barrels and cook them. So, uh, yeah, I like that. Now, I guess I could make this area a mill, and a part of me is wanting to destroy the candlesticks as well, because they're... Let me just... Yeah, I'll blow up the candlesticks. It's going to get dark in here, but that's okay. And I do still have the... Yeah, I still have the lights on the walls, but they're not symmetrical. I don't I honestly don't care about that. Um, there we go. Okay. So, what should I do about the mills? I've got an entrance right here. So I've got an entrance right there. And I am going to... All this will be blocked in later. Okay, oh, oh, this is done. So, if I right-click till... doesn't do anything. If I, if I shift-click... Okay. If I sh hold down shift and then click on it, does it do anything? If I hold down control and click on it, does it do anything? Oh, do I need to be on... Do I need to be on this level? If I hold down control and click... Uh, if I hold down alt and click... How about shift or right click? How about shift... Uh... I just want to see if the the until was there's a shortcut here. Maybe. No. It would give it would show me as an it would show me an until command I do believe. Um. Right. Well, now if I hold down shift on this. There it is. Okay. That's not the most intuitive thing, but I guess I, at least I know about it now. Okay. So now I'm wondering. Okay. Uh, now I'm wondering if, if I hold down destroy on the baker's oven. If I hold down destroy and click, shift click, do I get a destroy thing now? No. Oh, that would be so useful. What if I just hold my mouse over and, and press delete? No? That would have also been really useful. Um, what does delete do anything? Anyway, nothing? Okay. Uh, that would be that would be a nice shortcut. Just hold your hover your mouse over it and and just press delete. Like that. Just pressing just press the delete button on the numpad. Uh like, if I had to quickly go through and just get rid of a bunch of walls, just delete, 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 delete. Uh, that'd be great. Or, um... Uh, or something, you know, something like that. So, I, I guess... I, okay, so sh holding a shift on the text command seems to work. But not the other stuff. Alright. Okay. How's this coming along? Is anybody, does anybody do anything stupid? And get them? Sometimes they... they, they get kind of stupid on the walls and they'll trap themselves and you have to kind of babysit them and be ready to come in with uh, scaffoldings to help them get down. Um, so if you're ever building something, just uh, especially if you're building walls, any kind of thing where they might accidentally box themselves in. Did I get immigrants? That's a lot of, that's a lot of animal spam. Uh, okay. 
Like now I'm not even sure if they can they can get over there, right? Right? Can they? Now I'm second guessing myself. I think they can get over this. They can hop over a one block gap. Uh I don't know. Okay, so the mills. So what's the best way to do mills here? Uh, here are my sources of, of grain. I mean, they're right here. And... Um, so I guess I would just put the mills in here, and then they take them to the next room over and down the steps, and put them in the raw food barrel, right? Uh, now, if I was starting like a fresh town, I think what I might do is have a food production line, like a literal assembly line, like a very, very like a rectangular shape, and then just imagine like my mouse here, uh, here's the, hold on a second, shut up, ah, oh. uh, okay, right, so here's, here's the patches of wheat, right, in this area, and then here's the mills right up, and then right after the mills is the uh, bakery, and then right after the bakery is the, oh no, it would go wheat, mill, raw food barrels, bakery, prepared food barrels, dining room. So it, it like the haulers would just literally move right on up the line, and like a Henry Ford style assembly line, just going going right up. Uh, this is... I can actually kind of do that here. I could have wheat, and then raw barrels, and then right here, and then the mills, and then right here to make the bakery. Uh, that's actually not a bad idea. Huh. Well. I guess I could. I guess I could have just a line of each, right? So, mills... Now hold on a sec. Let me let me just let me observe the bakery here and watch what happens. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait. Okay, so he's going to a baker's table and he's doing what? Damn it, he's making jungle salad. I need one of you guys to make bread. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh wait, he was just at the thing. Okay, he's making banana bread. So he must have taken. So he took it to the baker's table. Now he takes it to the oven. And now there's the bread, and he put it down. Okay, what's this guy doing? He's making a meat pie, so he takes it to the table, then to the oven, and then it's the finished product. Okay, so it's table, then oven, on the production line. Hmm, okay. That, yeah, that also makes sense in the, in the real world. That I don't know why that wasn't more obvious to me immediately. You can probably tell I don't cook. I I, I do want to learn to cook though, because of several reasons. But yeah. Uh, okay. So here's our wheat production right here, and then we will have a line of mills right here. So there's the mills, and. Now, I want this well illuminated, so I would like to have a line of candlesticks so that it's not all dark and dreary. And then, so milling, and then comes uh, storage. So we will have a line of raw food barrels right here. And that's where wheat should go, or flour, I should say. And so then they will take the flour out of there and another line of candles. And we'll make this nice and neat and organized looking. There we go. And then uh, after they take the, the flour out of there, they will use it in baker's tables, which requires this to actually be a a bake. Let me pause. This actually requires this whole thing to be a bakery. Mm. Oh, right here. Like that. Fantastic. Okay. 
So we take our baker's tables and then do them like this in a line. And then we have some more candles to make it spaced out and not cramped and, and stupid looking and, and bright and nicely lit. And then uh, finally we have the ovens, the, the last thing in the production production line. We have the baker's ovens, which are right here. And so they're in a line right here. There we go. And that outputs into uh, prepared food barrels, which are right here. And I have no idea what my townspeople are, are doing. Oh, that, is, that fits perfectly. Look at that. That fits perfectly. What are they doing with all the xed out things? Oh, Lord. What's going on? I don't I have no idea. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Okay. So that right there is wheat to mills to barrels to tables to ovens to barrels. I believe that is a full bread production line right there. So let's see. All right. So and and over here, or oh man, we're still waiting for candlesticks over there. Tell you what, uh, let's go to the haulers. These guys are kind of our, our, hey, we need some more stuff. So let's order them to mine, build walls, buildings, and that. And let's see if they'll uh, give us a quick boost to production here and, and help us get this done faster. Did they finish this level of wall? Oh, good. I'll go ahead and queue this up before I forget about it, because I want it to be three high. I know I should probably wait, but until they're done with other activities, but it's all got to get done eventually, right? Okay. Oh, and they were still working on the roof. That's right. All right. So hopefully all of this will get done faster. Yeah, all that. Okay, good. Unfortunately, that means that items might start piling up, and I really hate that, but whatever. I can tolerate that for a little bit. I think I'm safe to delete these scaffoldings here as well, and just leave this one, uh, one layer. There we go. Yeah, and then that layer to get up. Looks a little funny, but it still works. Still need those candlesticks. Still waiting on those. Um, oh, you'll also notice that my all my citizens are actually fairly uh, equipped now. They're mostly wearing a mix of, uh, well, pretty much iron stuff. Yeah. Iron, armor, samurai helmets, and the bone swords. And Oh, I got a sneeze. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. That was really close. That was, Oh, man. I, I sneeze pretty loud. Uh, it's been really cold this spring. Like, I, I thought it was supposed to be spring, and it's like 30 degrees Fahrenheit around here. Uh, that's about zero in Celsius, slightly below, I think, actually. Uh, so yeah, it, it's it's a really cold spring, and I'm, I am not a fan. I kind of kind of ready for the warmer weather to get here. Whew, sorry about that. Uh, damn, I think I am getting a little sniffly. Oh well. I'll always be here for you guys every day at 3 p.m., uh, even if I do get a little sick. Um. Cause I love you. Okay, so there's our there's our production line, and we've got the candles, and it looks nice and brightly lit. Oh, doesn't that look good? I should have done that like a lot sooner. So here's he's he's gonna take the flour, and then he's gonna come to. I'll probably put the flour in a barrel, 
Why didn't you put the flower right there in one of these barrels? You got a good... Uh, okay. Alright. Whatever. Now, this room here... I'm thinking I should make it into additional... Uh, additional kitchens, maybe? Yeah. More kitchen space? Because... I want to make sure... Yeah, let's do that. Let's make sure we have enough... Uh, stoves. So if, here's five of each of these. Kitchen table, cooking pot, stove. Um, and I would like to... Let's do the, the illumination first and make sure the room is ni nicely uh, lit and looks nice. Uh, one, two, three, four... Eight. There we go. And I'll do the same thing on this side. And I do believe I need to do the same thing here in the middle. Uh, I will skip one though from the entrance to not crowd it. And then come down here, here. Oh yeah, that'll this will look nice and this will be totally brightly lit when we get in here. There. And now I've got it's actually not symmetrical, but oh well. Uh it'll be kind of symmetrical when we get the the equipment in here. So we need uh, first stoves and cooking pots and kitchen tables. So I'm thinking the line of stoves to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stoves. And then I want the kitchen tables in the middle, I think. And I'll start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the cooking bowls will be right here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. So we have a nice and neat looking uh, kitchen with uh, more space in case we need to cook even more stuff at the same time. And it doesn't look crowded, and it's nice and it's nicely laid out, and not all jumbled together, and it's it's perfectly lit. Uh, yes, that looks much better, don't you guys think so? And we have, and we still have the auxiliary bakeries in case my entire town needs to get involved in like a massive baking baking project. We have enough uh, kitchen capacity to cook a lot of things at once if we really need to, like if we need to quickly catch up. Like if I just needed to make the entire town uh, cook something. Oh, food caravan. What do we have? What is this? Raw food barrel? Milk? Um, about the only thing I want out of these is cave mushrooms and... And... Uh, da, 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 snow cherries? You got any snow cherries for me? You don't. That's cool. And I always sell back... Uh, what do I sell back? I usually sell back... Um, what is it that I sell back? Um. Oh, oh, wheat. Yeah, wheat. Because it's so easy to, easy to get lots of. There you go. Uh, okay. So did they finish? I think I can. Here, let me. I think I can safely destroy that. Uh, now that just leaves a bunch of junk sitting out there. And I kind of thought they'd use up more of it when we built this. I think what happened, it seemed like my people were making fresh things. Fresh stations to go put down there. Like, I just made all that. And I thought that that would have kind of cleaned out this area. Alright, whatever. Um, Is there a stockpile for decorations? Can I actually, can I move that stuff just out here? Will they take all this stuff and move it out the market? Because that's been bugging me. All that stuff just sitting in the market like that. Will they move some of these statues? Oh, they are. Oh, thank you. And just get it out there. It's like I'm, it's like I'm having a yard sale. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. So are we, did we get done building all the, the items and stuff I wanted? I think we did. 
I think it's safe to switch my haulers just back to hauling like they're supposed to. Yeah, all I want you guys to do is haul and trade. Thank you. Fantastic. So yeah, they're moving right up the uh, up the production line here, from that to this to. Now I'm kind of wondering if I do need more more milling capacity. We'll see. I'll let it I'll let it run for a while, and if I start noticing shortfalls, I'll expand more. Uh, maybe just do another layer of it. I don't know. Uh, but that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. That's 11 mils. That's 11 at a time. So, uh, gathering. Where's our flower? We have like 9 flower ordered up. Yeah, we have 11 ordered up right now. I mean, they're making a lot of it for sure. So, that'll probably be enough when we get uh, caught up with our bread stockpiles because we're trying to make up a deficit of meat pies and bread right now. Yeah, it'll be a while, I think, to make up that deficit. In the meantime, we probably do have a surplus of fish, I would imagine. Uh, food? Ba no, not baking. Cooking. Uh, yes, we're about, to, we're about to top off on fish, and as soon as they do that, I suspect they will stop uh, gathering all this fish and switch over more to baking uh, baked goods. Yeah, we're about to cap out. We're at 297, 296. Fish is now my go-to resource, basic basic food stuff, instead of bread. Uh, just because it's the production chain is relatively simple, and it makes people happy to gather it, and it's 125% fill. So, which is actually the, the best meat. So I think the... Actually, roast is the best meat, but that has a more complex production chain, and so it's just a variety food. The, all the foods like you hear that I have just a little bit of. Oh, and I made chicken be fifty just because it seems I have a lot of it and it seems easy to make. And I've already I've already capped out on it. It, it was really easy to cap out on. Chicken might actually be a pretty good staple as well. Um, so. There we go. And yeah, I have a, a bunch of other variety food, mostly for happiness purposes, over here as well. And I think our bottleneck here is... Take another shot. You're playing the drinking game, right? The bottleneck drinking? Okay. Um, might be pork production, but I've got, what, uh, eight? Eight pork farms? I thought that'd be enough. I have plenty of chicken, for one thing. I wanted the chickens just to have extra eggs. That's actually why. Um... How are we doing on bones? That farm has... Letting them starve has produced just ridiculous amounts of bones. Okay. So we set up a new mill, and I've showed off everything I made. And there's our new... Uh, you know what? I don't like that. Let's blow up uh, that one and that one. Because I don't... I seem to be... Uh, that's still... 14, yeah. I think 14 should still be plenty of production capacity for butchering. And let's put some more candlesticks in there. Okay. So I want to fill this in as well. So who's actually, who's, who is now working on things? Uh, oh, you guys. Yeah, you guys go ahead and hop in the managed group. Uh, hauling and sleeping. And the managed group, oh good, that makes it back to 10. And Go ahead and auto equip and pick up some stuff. So wall construction, yes, good. Um, so I do read the comments, and I get comments about people liking shorter episodes, and I also get comments about people liking longer episodes. Um, so I'm kind of torn between like both opinions I just uh, tell you what in the comments for this video just which which do you like better do you like longer episodes or shorter episodes and and if you don't care just let let me know that you don't care because 
my suspicion might actually be that most people don't really care all that much. Um, as long as the content is interesting. It's, you know, who cares about the length? Um, I can see if, like, you're you're at, at on a lunch break or something, and you're just, you have a favorite show you like to watch, and your lunch break is, like, 30 minutes, and the show is always, like, 40 minutes, that would get really annoying really fast, not being able to uh, watch your favorite show. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yes, I want the Unifallow statue here. And I wanted it in the marketplace. This is what I was trying... I had to clear it out because I couldn't place it. It was so much crap in the market. Because a lot of people hang out in the market and I wanted it to be really nice looking. Do I have... Um, Is that my last Unifalo statue? Okay, because I don't want to accidentally order one to be made and they eat my gold to make it. That would uh, that would make me a very unhappy Vetches. So, there we go. So hopefully that'll be a big buff for happiness when people idle in the marketplace. So I think I'll call this an episode here, because I think I've, I've I've gotten enough stuff done. I've made a nice, simplified production chain for baked goods here that I really like the way this looks. I think in any future town... I, now, I might even uh, compact this more. I would actually be tempted to do so and make everything right beside each other. And it'll be more cramped, but it'll be even less walking distance. Like, have the mill r r touching the wheat patch, you know? That kind of thing. And and do it like that. Uh, I was even thinking about, like, a compact farm design where it's it's like a wheat patch. And then, ri like, ringing around it in contact with it is mills. And then out from the mills are baking tables in a circle around it. And then a circle out of that is, is uh, ovens. So it's 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 like a circle expanding outwards, and I thought that would look pretty cool, um, because it would be like they would just take as they take the resources outwards, they go to the uh, production chain. Um. So yeah, this is uh this is the results of my focus on food for a little while. Uh, I think next episode we will experiment with, um. What are they called? Arenas? Yes. Uh, arenas and balconies. Arenas and balconies. That's next episode. So that'll be pretty cool. And then after that, probably we'll start exploring the dungeon more. So I'll see you guys next episode. And until then, thank you very much for watching and take it easy. And little quick addendum. Yes, I did see a trade caravan. And yes, I did just buy another, another lightning. So I didn't miss it in case you guys were screaming at me in the comments. Oh, and uh, one last thing I forgot to mention that I need to mention is uh, Supermarket uh, requested that you guys call him by his actual name, which is Super Malparit, and I probably still did not pronounce that right, but, you know, I'm, I'm, it's Super Malparit, and he said that uh, you should call him that in the comments if you want him to respond to you. He's the developer, lead developer of the game. Uh, he does all the coding. Um, and I call him Supermarket because I fail at pronouncing Super Malparit, and, uh, yeah, and also I think Supermarket sounds funnier, but he, 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 he wanted, he wanted you guys to know, just in case you didn't, that his name is actually Super Malparit, Super Malparit, Super, Super, Supermarket. Yeah! Okay, so I got that out of the way. Alright, thanks for watching. Take it easy, guys.